Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trek YT here, or Nick, back with another episode of Base Showcase. And before we jump straight into today's episode, one, I want to let you guys know it is a 16x16 16 16 base. Everything is enclosed inside of it, and it also has a spawner inside of it as well as the normal chest storage. I tried to really take in some of your guys' ideas where you guys want a little bit more of a fuller base rather than just a chest room, so that's what I brought for you guys today. But before we start this video, I want to just make a quick little almost PSA to those of you out there that are here solely for the base showcases. I've come to that realization that there's a large portion of you guys that just come here just for the base showcase. Some of you guys don't even watch the video. You guys just take the download and you leave. So I do see a lot of comments from people saying, I want this in a base. I want this or this base won't work for this faction, I guess, server or something along those lines. I do just want to give you guys that little head heads up that these base showcases are directed at a general audience. I'm not going to go out there and build a specific base for every single viewer out there because then I would have to build over 3,000 different bases and that's just kind of unrealistic. So I just want to let you guys know that you guys are a little bit expected to, if you are needing specific things in your base, to change them on your own because I'm not going to be able to build a different faction base for everybody's needs. So I'm giving you guys this almost like template and you guys can build off of that and do the things that you need. So I'm sorry for you guys out there that are like, I want a 63 by 63 63 base with a spawner that has no anvils etc etc that's probably most likely never going to happen i just gonna give you guys this template and you guys can change things as you need for your needs with that out of the way guys let's jump right into today's episode all right guys so we're gonna start from the bottom of the base and work our ways upwards so at the very bottom we have this pond with a very nice technique that I like to do but I typically do it with barrier blocks but since you can't do barrier blocks in servers I decided that I would do blue glass so what that I'm talking about is you can see how there's flowers and stuff underneath the water it almost looks like there's actual plants inside the water like seaweed or plants that just grow in water and that's the kind of vibe that I was kind of going for so that technique is you basically just put blue glass underneath the water and then you put all the other stuff underneath that so it's like a hollow space under there so that's kind of the technique that I went for at the bottom but you guys are probably a little bit curious Trek why are you showing me this stuff this has nothing to do with the function of the base well it sort of does I really wanted to try to give you guys an opportunity to have a space to almost fish inside your base if you guys have MCMMO on your base you guys have the opportunity to fish in here and I think it just looks really cool because when you're up here on this level you can kind of see everything that's going on down below so that being said, it brings us up to our next level. So this level is a collection point for the spawner that I was talking about that is in this base. Now I'll show you the spawner in a second. It's all the way up there, but you do have storage on all of the corners. Now I know there's going to be some of you guys out there and be like, Trek, this is not the most efficient way to have storage. Well, I honestly don't care that much. I think it just looks cool. That is kind of my, I guess, ideas for bases like this is I really want to make the function portion and the design portion kind of mash up together and kind of like take a little bit of each. So like get the storage function portion, but also make it look good at the same time. Now I could have just did the typical where you line chest up on this side, line chest up on that side, have the water go to that side and that side, and then there's chest on both sides. That would have been maximizing the storage, but I really wanted to try to get a little bit more organic and get you guys something that would stand out on any faction server because most people are tending not to do storage like this. So looking from a design portion of this room, you guys can kind of see that there's uh, almost like a cross right in the middle of the base, and this is kind of like your walkway, and you have these hollow portions down here, so if you did need to jump down into that water, you can do so. Now, you would have to set a home up here so that we can get from there back up to here, but that's tended to how most faction bases are. There's multiple homes set in a singular base, as well as all the way up there is connected in a different way from here, so you would have to set a home up there versus down here. Um, also, in this room, Room, I did want to try to keep this like overgrown theme that I had going. I tend to do that in a lot of bases, but that's just something that that's kind of almost my style. I really do enjoy building that way. But I do again want to mention that these, I guess, chests on the outsides right here, you can move them around if you really wanted to. You can change up these quarters. These aren't restricted to anything. You can. There's a hollow space back there that you guys could expand back there if you wanted to, or if you really wanted to, you could just kick out this whole wall right here and turn it into the storage that you really want. So I just want to let you guys know that you still have all those opportunities, even though I didn't put them in this base. 
So we'll kick up to the top of the room that we were just in. This is kind of the, I guess, area that I have for the spawner. Basically, you would have your IGs up there and they would fall down. They wouldn't die from the fall damage, but they would be pushed into each quarter over here and then they would burn and die. Now, you could definitely change this if you want and have it just split off to this side and that side and just kind of make this all flow one to one, I guess, if you really wanted to. I just did it this way because I wanted to keep it a little bit more I guess different so that way you're kind of standing out on your faction server now we'll kick it to our last room of this base now you still have plenty of room to expand upwards I just only built this much for this space considering it's a 16 by 16 base I figured you don't really need that much space because a 16 by 16 is not going to be an overly large faction in the first place so I figured you don't need that much stuff in a single base because you're not really the best faction I guess on the server if you're building a 16 by 16 base so normally in a lot of these bases that I have storage and protected storage and you guys tell me that I do a terrible job and I probably in this base did a terrible job too, but I definitely tried to mix it up a lot where I had a block between here and here so creeper eggs can't really be placed and then I had two blocks under here so creeper eggs can't really be placed and I spaced them out as well here I honestly don't know if this storage would work but it's definitely a lot better than storage that I've done in the past so if this is not the correct storage I think I still gave you enough space to really change it if you guys need to so that being said that I gave you a ton of space to really do your specific storage that means that the center area is quite small it's really only a four by four or so in the center. So that means that I had to go upwards to really add the detail that I wanted. So that's what I did. I added this little cavern up here that is almost like a little cave. It just gives you that really cool look from down here that you don't get by just looking at these bland walls that are down here. So that's really where I went to add that space. Obviously you guys don't need to do this if you guys don't want to in a base, but I thought it just looked cool. So that's why I added it. And you could even almost, if you wanted to, get rid of this whole cave idea and this could just be another level or something along the lines you could change all of this out get all this to go because behind like these walls and stuff there's empty space that's not being used i just decided to add the cave looking area to make it look a lot cooler so that's really this base guys i'll give you another walkthrough of this base we'll go down to the very bottom level again we'll have to descend through the couple of levels we'll descend down again so this is again the bottom level right here it has all of that I guess collection area and I just want to touch on that again I figured a 16 by 16 base you're not gonna have the most spawners in the world in it so you don't need the most storage in the world because you can sell it as you go so that's another reason why the storage isn't maximized like it should be and then again you have down here you have that little fishing area as well it's just a lot of nice little scenery down there to make your base look a lot cooler um, and then if you ascend one more level you come into that area where it has the spawners up there and the collection area and then one last time it brings you all the way back up to here so that's today's base i hope you guys did enjoy today's base if you guys have any ideas for bases in the future again don't say specifically i want a 63 by 63 base with a spawner with no anvils don't say stuff like that just say just give me like an idea of a theme or something switch that up you know size i, mean, I understand that's important for a lot of you but i'll build the size that i feel comfortable and you guys just give me a little bit of idea for like block choice and stuff like that like today i tried to mix it up a little bit even though i tended to go back to my still my overgrown theme but that's kind of how i am as a builder so as always guys i love you all. i will see you guys in next video peace out can we skip to the good part <laughs>